Now, generally on animated shows, the characters don't really change that much over the years. They, you know, things happen in one episode and that's just it. It's never mentioned again. Yes. Haley's sort of changed a little bit. She's had life changes. You're right. I actually remember the episode where she and Jeff got married and I said to my producers, so was this going to stick? Like, is this going to be a thing? And they were like, oh, yeah, no, she's going to be married now, and Jeff's going to come and live at the house. And I, I love that they do that on American Dad. I love it. Because you're right, most of the time, you know, the house gets destroyed in every episode, and then it's back to normal the next week, or somebody gets shot, or, you know. That's one of our things, that every week in American Dad, it seems like somebody gets shot. <laughs> well, that doesn't stick as much, but some things do. So yes. so what's coming up this season for Haley? And do you have any idea, given how, many, how far ahead you probably are on recording. A lot is coming up for Haley this season. Yeah, I mean, right out of the gate, um, our season premiere, um, Love American Dad Style is the name of the episode. Um, Haley gets a job singing in Roger's bar, right? He hires her to be his singer in his lounge club. And uh, so this introduces Haley uh, to the world as a singer and uh, coincides with the release of my record, Haley Sings, which comes out September 25th. Well, that so, was a very good transition right there. Right Oh, th <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm a pro. Well, tell me a little bit about Haley Sings. I will tell you a lot about Haley Sings. No, uh, it's uh, basically we looked at the kind of music that Haley would listen to as sort of a hippie child, and uh, we thought, you know, the music of the 60s and 70s, which was also the soundtrack of my childhood because that was my parents' generation too. So we sort of just married the two, and, um, yeah, it's... Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, Carol King in sort of a jazz blues arrangement. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. And so people get to hear some of that in the opening episode of American Dad, which really wasn't planned that way. It all just sort of happened. It's amazing. And this is singing completely in character, though. No. it's Well, that's the funny thing is that Haley really is me. Our voices are so similar. They're similar, so, but they're not exactly alike. I assume you can tell the difference. I can tell the them. difference, okay. yes. But no, you're, the singer is me, yes. You will hear me on the record. <laughs> and how hands-on were you in terms of the way that the songs were being arranged very, and whatnot? Very, very hands-on, yeah. I, um, we worked everything through, yeah, to the last note to get it just so. And um, I'm, I'm over the moon with how the arrangements turned out. And I think they're going to speak to our audience. And it's going to be, like, straightforward in the sense where it's not going to be funny to listen to it. It's no, going to be actually musical is, to listen. <laughs> there's nothing funny about it. It's very serious. It's very sad. No, it's... <laughs> but there could be comedic... Inter right? There have been plenty of albums of sort of comedic yes. covers of things. No, this, but this is, is straight. This is straight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have any guests on singing with you? Um, you know what? I do not. This one is all me. Huh. Yeah, I know. Perhaps later, right? We could bring Scott Grimes in there to do a little singing. Or, but see, uh, then it instantly becomes again sort of almost actually, a comedy album. Actually, funny and... little side note that I really haven't told many people yet. So here you go. We have a hidden track on the record. And uh, the backup singers on this hidden track are Dee Bradley Baker, Klaus, Scott Grimes, who's Steve, and Wendy Shaw, who's Francine. So it is the cast singing back up. And is this something you've been waiting for the opportunity to do to record an album? Without a doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. And why was this the right moment? Other you know, than that apparently it fit with a storyline yeah, on the show? Yeah, I mean, to be 100% honest, it's just a hard um, industry to, to get into, you know, musically, especially now with, with just the climate in the music industry and what's available financially. And so this just seemed to be a really good jumping off point in terms of saying, you know me as this, and now I'd like to introduce myself to you as this. And uh, the record company was really excited about the idea of a cartoon character releasing a record, which really hasn't been done. So uh, everybody got on board with it, and it, it kind of just, you know, all the pieces fit together. Are you going to be able to go on the road with it? I am. Yeah, I'm starting in L.A. on September 28th at uh, the Catalina Jazz Club and then going to New York and Boston and looking like a USO tour in 2013, which, again, fits in perfectly with the show. So... Yeah, <laughs> big year. <laughs>